I'm here in the heart of uh, Province Amara, right, uh, and come to see uh, what is one of the larger uh, safety net programs the European Union uh, is funding, together with many other donors, but in a very unique cooperation with the uh, government. And essentially it is to try to, to build productive safety activities through uh, cash for work programs like the one we're seeing here in the background, or many other activities, to help them build more resilient um, uh, societies. There's many stunning figures uh, I've heard. Uh, I think this year we have reached uh, five to six million uh, households. Uh, there's another stunning figure I've learned is that currently we are investing about $60 per person. But if these people were all of a sudden be in a drought situation, uh, the donor community would have to mobilize at least $180 per person. So really in terms of developer deficiency, I'm struck that this is only a third of the effort, while at the same time also having uh, a lot of uh, possibility for sustainability. Uh, I'm here with uh, with Abu, who works with us in the uh, European delegation as project manager. Maybe you want to add one or two words, and then we can maybe uh, interview uh, one or two of the beneficiaries. His name is uh, uh, Mr. Zaudu Mola. He is the beneficiary of uh, the safety net program. Uh, first, he was identified as the poorest of the poor. And uh, as a result, he became beneficiary of the, the program. Uh, now, uh, he has stayed in the program for the last uh, uh, four years, and his life has been improving. Uh, he has already graduated from the program. So that this is one of the successes of uh, the program. Yeah. And maybe he can give us one or two examples still of how this impacted also uh, the life of his uh, the wife and the children and the household in general. Indeed. Uh, he's, he's telling me that the, the, the program, thanks to the program, his life has uh, uh, significantly changed. Uh, he's sending his uh, children to school. Uh, now his wife has um, uh, a cow, uh, you know, an improved breed, and he has more milk in, in the house, and he's feeding his uh, children better uh, now than, uh, you know, uh, older times. He says that he, he is one of the model farmers in, in, in the community. Uh, in the past, he used to buy food from the market for household consumption. Now he produces uh, surplus. He sells more uh, food. So he's in a very better, better position uh, compared to when he started uh, participating in the program. Well, thank you very much for those, uh, those words. Uh, Good luck for the community, good luck for your household, and thank you very much. She has four children, one girl and three boys. She is sending all her children to school. Another benefit of the program is that uh, she has, uh, they, they, the community has water supply not very far from their settlement, which was provided by the program. And this is one of the public works programs, yeah, like the, the ones we see in the background here. Yeah. She, she, she says that they participate in the identification process of the projects that will be implemented through the safety net program. And, and the women are actively engaged in the process. Well, for me, it was encouraging to hear. It was also encouraging to hear that her many children are back to school, and also that some of the household assets have been uh, restored by that program. And I would like to thank her for your availability to share a few thoughts with us. <laughs> Thank you very much. 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 Th